that's what my phone is telling me right now. All right, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, or right now, I guess, I'm gonna do an avocado uh, <laughs> cheeseburger, and then some broccoli or some veggies. I feel like my body is legitimately craving vegetables right now. Like, do you ever have those moments where you can just feel what your body needs? And I definitely think my body needs some vegetables right now. So, I thought I'd come on here and chat with you guys while I eat my food. All right, so I just put broccoli or salt on my broccoli. Yummy. What do you guys like to put on your broccoli? I feel like, I don't know, people have very different tastes for broccoli. I know some people like cheese on their broccoli. That's always good. <laughs> Choking. Oh, that went down the wrong pipe. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> anyway. Mm. Hello. Eating food with whoever is on right now. Mm. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Mildly choking on my broccoli. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Just kidding, I'm fine. Yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Mm -hmm. It's so delicious. Hitting the spot. Yum, yum. <clears throat> anyway talking about how people like to season their broccoli. What do you guys like to put on your broccoli? When you eat it, eat it. Or are you just like a ranch person? A lot of people just like ranch with their veggies, which is totally fine, common, but I've never really been a ranch person, my veggies. It's weird. Also, I just woke up from my nap, and it's my <clears throat> somewhat messy hair. Yas, that felt so good though. Do I have, oh, I have a clip in my hair. Ooh, look at that. It's like, what the heck? Oh my gosh. There, I put it back where it belongs. Well, the naps in the middle of the day are the best. <laughs> the best. Oh my gosh. Kill a rusty poo. And then, you know. Go back to work or do whatever you gotta do. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello. I'm doing a broccoli and avocado cheeseburger mukbang. It's delicious. Um, gee. First time I've had hamburger. And like ever. That's good eating. Heck yeah it is. I know it's so good. Mm. Do you like cheeseburgers? Are you a burger fan? Cause I am. That's for freaking sure. Mm -mm -mm. I always feel like so weird when you do like mukbangs and eat you're essentially just like talking with your mouth full <laughs> it's kind of funny to me but you know apparently it's a thing so but but yeah anyway so i made some broccoli eating some broccoli for some veggies you know to get those good nutrients in the body 
and broccoli is like one of the best vegetables for that so i eat a lot of broccoli do you have a favorite vegetable you eat I think I alternate um, between like three or four vegetables. It's just not that much variety, but I don't know. I have my faves like broccoli. Let's see what else to eat. Cauliflower. Um, I grew up where my dad would plant a garden every summer, so we'd have a ton of different vegetables from that. So he always has a lot of leftover zucchini kind of grown to start liking frying up zucchini and then just putting like salt and stuff on it or cucumbers real good i think it's funny i used to hate cucumbers growing up because we just had so much of them that's like all we ate at like well not all we ate but we had it with like every meal <laughs> got real sick of that real real sick of that i don't want to eat no cucumbers gross just kidding there weren't actually gross at all but you just get sick of stuff but now i like look back on that it's funny because one vegetables are super expensive of course all the healthy food is super expensive you know but there's a huge difference between store-bought vegetables and homegrown vegetables like you can majorly taste it so something i really appreciate now as i've gotten older in my old age. Just kidding. I'm not that old. But. Oh, I definitely appreciate it. Oh my gosh. This broccoli tastes so good for some reason. I don't know why it tastes so good. But it does. So yummy. Mm, yum. Can't wait to eat my avocado cheeseburger. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. 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 Down to the broccoli, on to the cheeseburger, but first, water. Water, water. You know, gotta drink that water, stay hydrated. Mm -mm -mm. So what day is it? Tuesday. How's your guys' it's Tuesday? Do you have any big plans for the Tuesday? You're just hanging out or what are you up to? Are you eating food with me too? Are we eating together? It's like we're like having lunch together. Aw. <laughs> I feel so connected to all of you guys. But actually. Okay, so I've become, not become. I've grown to really like cheeseburgers on just like toast. I don't know why, I almost feel like it's better than in a bun. I think it's like add some texture, some like crunch and stuff, you know, you know? Mmm. Yeah. So good. Speaking of homegrown stuff, this is our own beef from back home too. I kind of grew up on like a hobby farm. So we had like cows in our pasture, we had chickens every year. I think we had pigs a couple years. A couple years we had ducks a couple years and then my dad and brothers and I would hunt for deer when it was available and there was actually tags available because there's just like no tags available anymore but this is from our cow back home and I literally I just ran out of beef for a while so I was getting some from the store and holy cow there's a huge difference between store-bought beef and homegrown, homegrown, so to say, beef as well. It's like kind of insane. Like it's something, another thing I think I took for granted growing up because it's all I had ever had was beef from our animals in our backyard. And the first time I tried it, I feel like it tastes like plastic. <laughs> it was kind of, it's growing on me now and it's still like beef when I run out of real stuff, but this is much better. I'm so excited. I got like four new packages when I was home the last week. Mm -mm -mm. So, uh, y'all, it's pretty lit. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like softer almost, or 
There's more flavor in it, I think, as well. I don't know. Do any of you guys hunt or butcher animals or anything? Or you just like more store-bought stuff or curious? I feel like I don't know a lot of people that really hunt or have like animals back home anymore. Mm. So good. So yummy. Then I put garlic salt and creel on the hamburger. Creel is like the best seasoning ever. Like I literally just discovered it maybe a year and a half ago. So my brother told me about it and I put it on almost everything now. It's so yummy with garlic salt. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm. But actually, but actually. I also have honey dew melon. I don't know if I'm gonna eat that though. Look. I don't know what it looks like. It looks like Patrick's house. Some SpongeBob. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't really watch that show. Actually, I used to, but mm. we'll see. We'll see how hungry I am. I had a donut earlier. It was magnificent. It was a, like a raspberry filled one. Mmm, so good. I rarely crave donuts, but I just craved it, so. I had one, and it was delicious. Best part of my day. Just kidding. This is the best part of my day. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Mm Halfway done. Whoa. I think putting avocado on the toast makes it better too. I'm an avocado fan. Mm. I don't know. I feel like it has to be the right amount of ripeness though. Otherwise it's kind of nasty. Kind of nasty. Nasty, nasty. But this stuff is perfectly ripe, so. Pretty yummy. <laughs> yum, yum. So what's on your guys' menu today? Do you have any food picked out that you want to eat for the day or just eating whatever? Are you just snacking all day or do you guys do meals? I'm always curious what everyone does. Like some people have like six meals a day. Some people don't really have any meal. They just kind of snack all day. Some people have like three and a couple snacks. So what do you guys like to do? Hmm. Like winded from eating sometimes <laughs> which I don't know if that's a good thing but it happens I'm just so excited about my food oh my gosh oh. Mm -mm. trying to decide what I want to do after this I could do so much cleaning in my home but uh do I want to do that? No, not at all, actually, but I probably should. Maybe I'll fold my laundry that I threw on the ground like two days ago and it's still on the ground. You know, I'm really good at like doing my laundry, like making sure it gets washed, all that jazz, but folding it is my least favorite part. I wish I could just get someone to like hire someone to fold it for me. That'd be nice, right? Living the life. No, I actually decided that's my, I'm trying to do one household chore a day, one, to just keep on top of things. Kind of felt convicted about that. I just want to keep my house 
cleaner, nicer. Like it is a blessing to have a home, so I want to keep it nice. But yeah, I decided to challenge myself to do one household chore a day. So that could be like doing the dishes, putting the dishes away, sweeping the floor, cleaning the bathroom, vacuuming, folding my laundry. Uh, I have a lot of jewelry stuff, so that could be organizing my jewelry, just something. And then I feel like it seems less overwhelming than picking like Saturday afternoon to do everything, like all the cleaning. It just I feel like you dread it less. And honestly, if you just pick one chore, it's going to take you like 20, 25 minutes tops for like the bigger ones, like maybe cleaning the bathroom or if you have a ton of dishes, but folding laundry should take me like 15, 20 minutes to fold it all and then put it away. So, I want to challenge myself to do that today. And then you feel better too, because your house is cleaner. Yum, yum, yum. It's so delicious. Mm. It's so full every time I eat hampers. So good, but they just make you so full. But now I won't be hungry for a while. Yay. The throat at you? <laughs> Kidding. More water. Drink all the water. Go away, bug. It's like random bugs flying around. What are you doing? What are you doing? What a random fly. I've literally made a video about it. <laughs> it's on my channel too. I think it was last, maybe two weeks ago now. I literally spent like 45 minutes trying to kill a fly. And I finally did. Well, I didn't have a fly swatter, so I killed it with my flip-flop. Yeah, that was wonderful. I should, I should get a fly swatter. But um, yeah, they just like sneak in. Usually you don't have that many. That, that was actually the first one I've had in my home this summer, but still. And then I think those are fruit flies. Probably because I have fruit right there. That makes sense, right? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yum, yum. My goal is to drink at least one of these a day. A day. So this is a half gallon. So they say to aim for like a gallon-ish a day, <clears throat> which is doable, but that's a lot of water. So I always challenge myself to do at least a half gallon, which is one. And if I get to a gallon, then that's an amazing day. But if I don't, then it's still a good day. You really notice a difference too, like in your energy levels and Sometimes you're not even hungry, you're just like bored and if you drink water, it kind of helps like diminish the hunger hormone and then you don't eat as much and then we don't gain weight and yeah, become unhealthy. Mm. And it helps a lot with your skin too, I've noticed that. My skin will look a lot better if I'm drinking water versus when I'm not. Okay, take a couple more goals. <sighs> All right, well, that was a fun video. That was fun hanging out with you guys and eating, OMG. Um, yeah, if you like this video, do not forget to like it, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Stay tuned, I will be doing more lives. I'll do mukbangs and fitness and faith and beauty, all the things, just kind of things to entertain people, basically. So stay tuned for more videos. And if you'd like to follow me on my Instagram, my YouTube handle, which is the Imaginigma77, is the same as my Instagram. So you can go follow me there. All right, I am going to go and I'm going to go fold my laundry. Yay me. But yeah, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.